types of journals. We have the following list of journals. Cash Receipts Journal, CRJ. Cash Payment Journal, CPJ. General Journal, GJ. Purchases Journal, PJ. Purchases Return Journal, PRJ. Sales Journal, SJ. Sales Return Journal, SRJ. Petty Cash Journal, PCJ. Today we going to look at the CRJ, CPJ and GJ. Cash Receipts Journal In which all cash transactions are recorded. All monies received that are deposited in the entity's bank account are recorded in the Cash Receipts Journal. At the end of the month only one amount, which represents the entire month's cash receipts, is debited to the bank account. The other column totals represent the contra accounts and are credited to such accounts. The amounts in the sundry accounts column are credited individually to the relevant accounts. Source documents for entries in the cash receipts journal are the Cash register roll The bank statement Duplicate receipts Duplicate cash invoices and Duplicate deposit slips The cash, EFT, cash, credit card, debit card or zapper receipts for the month are recorded and analyzed in date order. Each cash amount received in the course of a day is not banked immediately. Cash receipts are first recorded in the Analysis of Receipts column, and the amount that is banked for that day is recorded in the Bank column. Any direct payment into the bank account of the entity will not be entered into the Analysis of Receipts column but will be entered directly into the Bank column. Electronic funds transfers are deposited directly into the bank account and will be entered every day in the books of the entity from the bank statement of the entity. These amounts will be entered directly in the bank column. The addition in the columns must be checked by cross-casting. In other words, when the totals of the analysis columns are added, they must equal the total in the bank column. Entries in the sundry accounts column are posted individually to the general ledger. Only the totals of the other columns are posted. The cash receipts journal is a book of first entry. The double entry system has to be applied in the general ledger. The amounts are not recorded individually again in the bank account in the general ledger. The number and headings of columns in the journal will depend on the frequency of occurrence of transactions and can differ from one entity to another. Generally, transactions that occur more frequently will have dedicated columns. Cash Payment Journal all cash payments, that is, payments made by way of Check, no longer accepted by most banks EFT Credit card Debit card Cash E-wallet Snap scan Cash pay end Zapper are recorded in the cash payments journal. At the end of the month only one amount, which represents the entire month's cash payments, is credited to the bank account. The other column totals represent the contra accounts and are debited to such accounts. The amounts in the sundry accounts column are debited individually to the relevant accounts. Source documents for entries in the cash payments journal are Check counterfoils, checks are no longer accepted by most of the commercial banks. 
debit notes and credit card slips, together with original cash invoices or the bank statement issued by the bank, EFT transactions will be numbered in the bank statement according to payment request numbers, P for payment and number. The original cash invoices will be attached to the payment requests. Entries are recorded and analyzed in the cash payments journal in the same order as the payment request numbers. The amount that appears on the payment request is the amount that is recorded in the bank column. The addition in the columns must be checked by cross-casting to ensure it is correct. In other words, when the totals of the analysis columns are added, they must equal the total of the bank column. Entries in the sundry accounts column are posted individually to the general ledger. Only the totals of the other columns are posted. The amounts are not recorded individually again in the bank account in the general ledger. The cash payments journal is a book of first entry. The double entry system has to be applied in the general ledger. General journal In which transactions are recorded that are not recorded in one of the other journals, for example, the correction of errors and the writing off of credit losses, bad debts, are recorded. Examples transactions for CRJ, CPJ and GJ Ms. Beauty Beloy opens a hairdressing salon, Beauty's Hair, on 1 June 20.3 and enters into the following transactions in June. 20.3 In June 1. Ms. Beauty Beloy deposited R10000 directly into the business's bank account. Cash Receipt Journal, Bank and Capital Made an EFT to Hortru, to pay the month's rental of our 1000. Cash Payment Journal, Bank and Rent Expense. Made an EFT, to pay the water and electricity deposit of our 500. Cash Payment Journal, Bank and Electricity Account. Two bought our two five hundreds worth of equipment and our eight forty fives worth of consumable inventory from head suppliers and paid the amount of our three three forty five with the credit card of the business. General Journal, Bank and Equipment. Five money for services rendered paid directly into the bank account of Beauty's Hair, our three fifty. Cash Receipt Journal, Bank and Service Rendered. 7. Ms. Beauty Beloy withdrew cash from the business account at an ATM to pay her assistance wages of R200. Cash Payment Journal, Bank and Wages. 10. Cash Register Roll Total for Services Rendered, R556. The money was deposited into the bank account of the business. Cash Receipt Rendered, Bank and Service Rendered. 14. Ms. Beauty Beloy withdrew our 500 cash from the business account at an ATM to pay the week's wages of our 200, the remainder being for Ms. Beloy's own use. Cash Payment, Bank and Wages 15. Cash Register Roll Total, for services rendered, are 642. The money was deposited into the bank account of the business. Cash Receipt, Bank and Service Rendered 17. Bought stationery from office suppliers, R80, and paid with the credit card of the business. General Journal, Bank and Stationery 19. Cash Register Roll Total, for services rendered, R438. The money was deposited into the bank account of the business. Cash Receipts Journal Bank and service rendered. 21. Made an e-wallet payment to pay the week's wages, R200. Cash payment journal, bank and wages. 
22 bought shampoo and other accessories from head suppliers and made a direct payment into their bank account for the amount of our 550. Cash Pay Journal, Bank and Consumables. 24 cash register roll total for services rendered are 387. The money was deposited into the bank account of the business. Cash Receipts Journal, Bank and Service Rendered. 25 made a direct payment to Telcom to pay the telephone account, R260, which included Installation costs of R180 Cash Payment Journal, Bank and Telephone 28 Ms. Beauty Beloy withdrew R1500 cash from the business account at an ATM R1300 was for Ms. Beloy's own use and R200 was for the week's wages. Cash payment, bank, wages and drawings. 30. Cash register roll total for services rendered, R875. The money was deposited into the bank account of the business. Cash receipts journal, bank and service rendered. Your journals will look like this. Our next video we will be look at sales journal, sales return journal, purchases journal and purchases return journal. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.